Welcome to a brainy bit on primacy recency. Studies show that what we learn first, we learn best. What we learn last, we learn second best. The time frame in between is a great time for rehearsal and application. This concept is known as the primacy recency or serial positioning effect. We apply the concept of primacy recency or serial positioning by breaking the learning episode into chunks called primetime one, downtime, and primetime two. Primetime one usually takes about half of the overall lesson time, while downtime is roughly a quarter of the lesson time, and the remaining 25% is for primetime two. Best practices for primetime one. This is a great time to introduce new material, not to check for homework or distribute class announcements. Capitalize on this concept by presenting new information first. Students need time to process and apply new information. Downtime should focus on the application, practice, and understanding of the new skill. Primetime two is a great time for closure. This is not, however, a time for you to do all the work and review the concepts, but rather Ask the students to perform individual tasks that allow you to check for understanding. Did they get the concept? Show what you know. Reflect on the following questions. Where does the use of technology come in the lesson? Does teaching it first make it more important than the content concepts being taught? Is technology better used in primetime one, downtime, or primetime two, and why?